Hello friends, uh, 8th of May is uh, celebrated as the World Thalassemia Day. Now what's thalassemia? Thalassemia is a genetic condition which is transmitted from parents to the children. And what happens in this condition is that these children do not make enough red blood. Because they don't make enough red blood, blood they are dependent on lifelong blood transfusions which is to be given from outside. And that has to be given every few weeks. And if we do not do that, most of the children are going to not make it after their second birthday. So it's a very, um, um, you know, um, very difficult problem. And we are the thalassemia capital of the world because the maximum number of children are born in India with thalassemia major every year. Now, what can we do about thalassemia major? There are three components of thalassemia care. One, of course, is how to look after these thalassemia children once they're diagnosed. So they need adequate, prompt, and safe blood throughout their life. And what I meant by that is that they need their hemoglobin to be maintained between 9.5 to 10.5 before giving blood transfusion. Now blood transfusion comes with its own problems. And one of the problems which blood transfusion brings in is infection and iron overload. So they develop a lot of iron overload in their body as they grow with these recurrent blood transfusions. So we need to give them safe blood, which is tested for all the um, you know, uh, infections transmitted through the blood. That's number one. And number two, uh, they need to be given on iron chelation. Iron chelation means medications which are given to remove this excess iron from their body. If we are able to do these th three things, safe, adequate blood and prompt and adequate chelation, these children can really lead a normal life and grow in adulthood and be meaningful members of the society. Now, is there a way we can cure thalassemia permanently? Yes, there is. So, bone marrow transplant is one of these one of the ways where we can cure these uh, children from thalassemia major. And in bone marrow transplant, of course, we need a donor who can donate for them. It can be a family donor, or it can be unrelated donor, or it can be something we call as cord blood donor, which can be used to cure these children of thalassemia major. Thalassemia major. There's also something called as gene therapy so gene therapy is also a way where you can thalassemia can be cured it's experimental at the moment but i think in the next few years we may have this available for the patients um, as a as a curative option the third important aspect of thalassemia of course is that can we prevent thalassemia of course it's a preventable disease if the if the couple know who are going to have children if they know that they are carriers of thalassemia major we can test the babies in utero and see whether they have got thalassemia major or not. So what is required is that every member of, um, you know, of the society, everyone in, the, in, in our country should know their thalassemia carrier state. And we can do what's called as pre-marriage counseling to prevent two carriers from marrying. Even if they marry, we can still prevent thalassemia major in the children by doing antenatal testing, that means testing when the babies are in, 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 in mother's womb and those who have got thalassemia major, we may not continue with those pregnancies. So that's very important aspect of you know prevention and we need to spread this message all across so that you know more and more children with thalassemia major are not born. Thank you very much.